Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls Online. My name is Finn Rear Black Wolf, and today we are going to try and, well, not try and finish East March. It's probably going to take a couple episodes. Um, but you know what? No, we are going to do East March. So I already, so what I had done is, oh, what I had done is, is that I already had did um, uh, Lower Yorgrim because. You know, silly me. Um, silly me uh, uh, wasn't recording when that when, when I did that, and I wasn't about to do it on another character, so. It should have been back by now. Captain Alhana said they'd meet us here after an evening of prayer, right? That's what she said, but I don't see them. Maybe what the traveling merchant said is true. Where did you come? How did you find me? Never mind. That's not important. The sigil. You have to find the sigil. What sigil? The sigil represents our bond. The forest and my clan. We have an understanding. We take wood. We build. But as we do, we honor the forest. And the spirit of the forest protects us. So where is the sigil? My sister took it. She was going to hide it, keep it safe. But I don't think she made it very far. Awen fled south, through the mountain pass. Find her, save the sigil, and our accord. I'll find your sigil. Uh, I'll find your. Uh, I'll find your sigil. Your your sister and your and the sigil. Please. If the Stormfists find the sigil, they could undo generations of goodwill. Sorry, there's a bug bugging me. My clan has always been at one with the forest. We worship Kain in her most primal form, taking only what we need. ...and preaching to those that would work in the deep woods. And the forest responds to you? The forest provides its bounty and protects us. The sigil is the symbol of our bond... ...between blood and roots, heartwood and heart. We've always kept it safe... ...until today. What happened to you? The storm fist happened. <laughs> the savages. They cut their way through our ranks, screaming about the Orc Thane. And why would they attack you? I've no idea. We're a peaceful group. We commune with Kain as guardian of the deep woods. We have no interest in who holds the throne in Windhelm. And why did your sister take the sigil? I have a daughter. She left the clan years ago to find her fortune in the city. I told Awen to get the sigil to her. So many dead. If anyone will continue our tradition, it will have to be her. And why did she leave? Our clan is... was... isolated. We cared more for the turn of the seasons than the fashions of the big cities. My Iran wanted more than what Kain could offer. So she left. I'm fixing my mic a little bit here. Um, yeah. All right.
Imwin. If you're reading this, then I am probably dead. Dead or we're la laughing about this together around a fire. The storm, fist, the, the, the storm fist caught me out in the open. I managed to fi f find this co this, co this copse. Never heard of that word. I found a tree to hide beneath, but I don't know if I if I can, if I'll make it out of here. Listen, you were wrong about about a, a Rana. She should be able to find to find her own way in Windhelm. If she wants to work work a job in the city, let her let her find her own way. I tried to bring this her her to her the sigil, but it should be be up to her. Ooh, a lore book. Goodbye. And a chest! No longer available. There's a slower book. Ah. All sorts of stuff here. I don't want to go here. I don't want to go here. It's not yet. Ah, you suck. I have no idea where I'm going. Back by now. Captain Alhana said they'd meet us here after an evening. It is nice having infinite stamina. I could sprint for days. Do I look drunk? Hey there. I'm just preparing some oats for the horses. You need anything, you should talk to Afnia. He'll say Yuri Rana. Yuri Rana? Imwin's daughter? Yes. Something I can do for you. Hey, Rana, I have some bad news. The Stormfists have killed most of the clan. What? My mother, my aunt, dead. They were such boring, simple people. They would never have hurt. Why? The Stormfists may have wanted the sigil. The sigil? I have to go. I have to find it. It was so important to her. I have it. I have it here. Your mother asked me to find it. We haven't spoken in years. As much as I would wish otherwise, I know what I have to do. Thank you. My mother is smiling in Sovereign God today. Uh, this bug is... This gnat is going to be f fucking annoying me. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying not to. It's around my desk, and I don't know what it could be causing it to bother me. Welcome to. I forbid it, young lady. 
No daughter of mine is going to be courted by a Nord I see. <laughs> should have been back by now. Are you heading to the shrine? What shrine? The shrine to the goddess Kain. We come here to pray and ask for her blessing before battle. The rest of our brigade went to visit the shrine yesterday. They haven't returned yet, and I'm worried about them. And have you gone to look for them? Well, no. Not after that traveling merchant came by and told us that terrible story. He said dark witches had killed the keepers of the shrine. The place has been overrun. I can match steel with any soldier, but how do you battle a witch's hex? I'll look for your companions. Kind bless you, stranger. Captain Alhana commands the brigade. She's an excellent leader and a terror with a blade, but they should have been back by now. What was the brigade doing at the shrine? Soldiers often visit the shrine before going into battle. How else would we receive Kind's blessing? The keepers provide shelter, allowing pilgrims to pray for a day and a night. But Alhana and the others have been gone longer than that. Could they still be praying? I don't think so. Captain Alhana is a stickler for schedules and protocols. But ever since that traveling merchant told us tales of witches and corruption at the shrine, we've been too, well, too frightened to go and check on them. Okay. Quiet! Someone's coming! Go away, witch! You won't curse anymore, my soldiers! I'm I'll not... Leave. You'll taste my blade! I'm not a witch! Oh, great, it crashed. That's nice. Uh, so it's going to be this, or it's, it's going to be one of these episodes, is it? It's going to be one of these episodes, is it? Well, okay, so to be fair, ESO has been having some issues lately. Like, lag, crashes, um, and everything like that. So I'm, I'm not surprised that it crashed. Like the entire, I like the past few days, like even sometimes weeks, um, ESO, I guess, uh, especially in the North American server, it is ha been having major issues. Like, like the entire North American server was just a sh shut down. It's like denied. All right. Yeah, so <clears throat> that's it. <laughs> that, that, that's one of the reasons. So it's I'm not surprised that ESO might crash a lot in this episode. Um, just trying. Go away, witch! You won't curse anymore, my soldiers. If you don't leave. You'll taste my blade! I'm not a witch. Crawl. Crawlald sent me to help. Crawlald? Really? How do I know you didn't bewitch him, just like the others? If I was a witch, couldn't I just curse you instead of trying to talk to you? That's the most rational thing I've heard all day. Hold on, I'll unlock the door. Don't let any of the witches follow you in, hmm? Alrighty. My apologies, but these are dangerous times. I watched my soldiers turn into mindless slaves. I had to make sure that your will was still your own. Krollald is still worried. It is worried. What hap what's happened here? Our brigade came to the shrine to pray. That's when they fell upon us. Daedric witches! They bewitched most of my soldiers. We four are all that remains, and Droy is burning with an unnatural fever. 
I fear he won't last much longer. What happened to Troy? He was cursed by the witches. The fever burns away all that he is. Soon he'll be a mindless slave, just like the others. The Keepers could heal him, but we haven't seen a Keeper since we arrived. Where are the Keepers? It's likely the witches killed or cursed them. Of course, they could be barricaded away, just like we are, waiting for help to arrive. Droy mentioned something about them before the fever took him, but we've had other things to deal with. I'll try to find them. Any suggestions on where I should start looking? Explore the shrine. The witches there might have a clue. There's also a locked dresser by the bed. One of the bewitched soldiers might have a key. I'd love to know what they've locked in there. Kill witches, find a key. Any other thoughts? Before the fever took Droy, he mentioned the witch by the lake. He said she didn't attack him. Find this witch. If she's really willing to talk to you, she might have something useful to say. Go away! Troy's fever grows worse. A fever curse creeps poor Troy. If we don't cure him soon, I fear he'll become one of the bewitched. Tell me what happened. Troy was sent to the shrine ahead of the brigade to let the keepers know we were coming and give them time to prepare. When we arrived, we found Troy like this, burning with fever. I've been trying to care for him, but nothing seems to help. Is there anything I can do to help? There's one thing I haven't tried yet. There's a flower that's been known to cure a fever. It's called Kine's Breath. It grows around the rune stones that decorate the grove. A handful may help save Droy's life. Can you get some for me? I'll find some flowers for you. Why do you approach me? Do you want to end up like the rest of the bewitched? Or perhaps you believe Kine will protect you? I don't have time for the games. I'm looking for the Keepers of the Grove. You search in vain then, for the Keepers are lost. Kine no longer lights their way. Why should the Keepers maintain the shrine of a god who ignores their prayers? What are you talking about? Kine blesses the Nords before battle, but Nords die every day. We lose sons and daughters in these stupid wars, and what does mighty Kine do? Absolutely nothing. We refuse to worship a god who ignores us and lets our children die. You keep saying we. Who are you? Think about it. You'll figure it out soon enough. Now leave this place and take everyone barricaded in that building with you. The Keepers don't need to be rescued, and this grove belongs to us now. Go. Hmm. Very interesting.
here first. I smell fresh Kine's breath. It reminds me when I was a little girl running through the fields in spring. I miss those simpler days. I hope I collected enough of these flowers. Oh, yes. This is more than enough. The flower is very potent. Thank you. With these, I should be able to reduce Droy's fever. Will Droy recover now? Droy's fate is in Kine's hands, but his chances are better now. I'll continue to watch over him until he wakes up. Since he was here before us, it's possible that Roy knows what happened to the Keepers. We need to find out what he saw. Finally reached Kynes Grove. I've heard I heard stories from my brothers about this place. They told me Uvar never go go into go into battle without praying to the goddess f first. Not unless you want to end up along on on the losing side. So here I am offering prayers as others as other warriors have done before me. One note before I turn in for the night. The keepers of the shrine are acting very strange. My brother. My brothers told me they, they were generous and kind, eager to help visiting help visiting pilgrims, but the keepers are glaring at me, treating me like a sar sacrilegious orc. I hope I didn't disrespect them in some way. Something something strange has happened here. I heard screams outside, and my companions have turn ha have returned. Yet, I guess it's time to grab my blade and find out what's going on. Was your search successful? One of the witches carried this book of hymns. Ah, uh, I know this book. Many nods carry similar hymns written to our goddess. It's strange that a Daedric witch would take this from a keeper. Perhaps it's part of their spell. Maybe they use a victim's property to maintain control. A soldier's journal hidden in the dresser describes the keeper's strange behavior a few days ago. It sounds like the witches attacked before we arrived. I wonder if the Keepers were already cursed when this was written. That would explain why they were acting strangely. I spoke to one of the witches. She seemed to have a connection to the Keepers. A hymn book? A journal? And now a witch? I have my suspicions, but there must be more to it. This can't be what I think it is. What do you propose? Investigate the building where the Head Keeper worked. Last time I checked, it was locked. If you can enter the house, you might find something that will make sense of this situation. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Sahun and Aaron visit the shrine today. They asked for Kine's blessing before sailing off to join King Yorin's war. My sons have grown into proud, strong, honorable men. This will be Yorin's first battle, but he will be aboard his brother's war vessel. Kine will protect them both. The war between our king and his bro brothers come clo closer, co come 
comes closer to home each day. Many of the keepers have started to hear that their that their children, wives, and husbands are dying in battles. I urge the, them to remain strong. Kind will watch o o over their loved ones in Sovereign Guard. I know it's hard, but we must not, not lose faith. We all know the risks. We all knew the risks, sorry, past tense. My sons are both gone. I received word that Sa Sahun's vessel sank in a surprise attack, killed by orcs of all things. Why would Kain allow this to happen? Why take both of my sons? They were all they were all the family I had left. And killed by orcs? What a disgrace. Why would Kain allow this? Why would she do do this to us? Kain is a lie. She does nothing. Our prayers fall in, in on deaf ears. We have found another to embrace us. One who feels our pain and knows the hardships of war. I would never have given myself to a Daedric prince before, but dis desperate times call for desperate measures. She knows the pain we feel. We no long, long, we are no longer keepers. We embrace a new power. We will take Kain's children as she has taken ours. May the false god, goddess, weep tears of blood. I haven't climbed through a window since I was a young girl. They've gotten smaller. I should have checked the window. Nods tend to break things, not sneak through them. The witches are the keepers. What? No, that can't be right. Even though I suspected... No, no, there must be some mistake. To go against everything they believe in, everything they were taught? Why would the keepers do such a thing? We've all lost children to the war. They blame Kain. The keepers teach us it is an honor to die defending our homeland. That's what they preach. Forsaking the teachings of kind dishonors us all. You only have two things left to do. One, find Keeper Ormi. Two, put a blade in her dark heart. If that doesn't end the curse, at least it will make damn certain no one else gets bewitched. But we don't know where or Ormi is. Strange lights and sounds have been coming from the shrine at the center of the grove. It's not normal. That's probably where you'll find the fallen Keeper. Whatever Ormi uses to channel these dark powers, it's corrupting the serenity of the grove. Maybe we can talk to her? You can't reason with Daedric witches! We've all suffered losses, but they took my soldiers and turned them into mindless slaves! I can't forgive her for that! They need to die! Every last one of them! I... What's wrong with me? Captain, are you alright? Uh-oh. I feel like I'm being torn apart! don't feel the pain that I have suffered. Kain has forsaken us. She let our children die. Now we'll take her children as our own. Oh, hello. Uh, okay. I hope to find you over here. Uh oh. It wasn't joy we had to worry about. Gain was under the witch's control the entire time. I just thought he was drunk and moody. Once the captain left, he attacked me. So how did you get out here? I put a knife in the big oaf's neck, but not before he unlocked the door. The witches swarmed inside. I had to leave Troy there so I could warn you. Where's the captain? She's dead. The Keepers are the witches. Then it's over. I'm the only one left. It's kind of funny. We came for a blessing, but we were defeated before we got to the war. Why did the Keepers turn against us? Ormis and the other Keepers lost loved ones at the war. They blame Kain. Wait, Keeper Ormi? By Kain, she thinks her sons are dead? I knew her sons. I served with them. Sahun survived. She doesn't know. No one told her. I need to find her son. Maybe we can get 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 through through to her and bring her back to the light. She killed and cursed my brigade, and you want to save her? Fine. I'm in no shape to argue with you. Sahun spends time drinking in Windhelm at the Cold Moon Inn. Helps him forget, he says. 
Go drag him back here if you think it will help. Okay. Dun 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 dun. Oh shit. I'm aggroing everybody, shit! <laughs> Run, run, chickens, run! If you're looking for a hired blade, look somewhere else. I don't do that anymore. Are you Sahun? Son of Ormi the Keeper? Who wants to know? Your mother thinks you're dead. I'd rather have her think that than know the truth. I'm a disgrace to my people and to kind. My brother, my ship, my entire fleet. They died right in front of me. And what did I do? Nothing. Ormi rejected kind and turned to dangerous magic because she grieves for her sons. No. My mother is the head keeper at Kynes Grove. She'd never turn against Kain and her people. Really? She should honor my brother's memory, not disgrace it. You need to come with me and speak to her. Many lives are at stake. No, I can't. If what you say is true, then it's already too late for my mother. Do what you must to save those people. But I can't face what she's become. Why did you stop working as a hired blade? I was a good soldier once. I was a faithful follower of Kain along with the rest of my family. After the disaster, I was disgraced, no longer fit to serve in the regular army. So, for a time, I sold my blade to the highest bidder. Now? What does it look like? I sit here, and I drink until I collapse. And then I get up and drink some more. It's the only way I can endure the memories. What happened? You ask more questions than my mother, and she's the keeper of Kynes Grove. Leave me to my drink, or I'll show you how good a warrior I used to be. Okay, dude. Sad. Very sad. What have you done? My son. Why would alive. you do this to yourself, mother? I thought I lost to all these people. Listen, Traveler. I know she did horrible things, but she's still my mother. Kain must forgive her. The goddess never gives up on her people. I don't know what we can do for her. No. 
I won't give up on her or Kine. I lost faith in myself the day I lost my brother. But I never lost faith in my god. Kine teaches us to fight for what we believe in. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm fighting for my mother. What do you plan to do? Pray for forgiveness. Kine, hear my prayers. My mother turned away from you, but she was wrong. She acted as she did because of her grief. She devoted her life to you. If you restore her, I'll return to the war. I'll take up my weapon to fight for your honor and our people once more. Please, goddess. I lost my brother and my father. Don't take my mother from me as well. Kynes cleansed me. She's forgiven me for everything I've done. How could I have been so foolish? I hurt so many people during my crisis of faith. Don't waste the second chance you've been given. I won't. Kine has shown me the way again. Without your intervention, I would have continued to rain horror upon my people. Thanks to you, I can make amends. These soldiers will be cared for until they are fully healed. I thought your witches killed them. No, the soldiers still live. They were to become members of our Daedric Coven, but I won't let that happen. Not now. Your friends are back at the Keeper's house safe and well cared for. And the rest of your Keepers? They're still under the spell of Daedric influence. I'll work on freeing them, but it will take some time. Do not fear. I'll make sure you receive safe passage through the Grove. I am their leader, after all. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you did, but my soldiers are nigh are alive. Thanks. I thought you were dead. So did I. The last thing I remember was a terrible pain. I woke up in here, next to Droy. One of the witches was tending to my wounds. I'm still not sure what is going on. Kine restored the head keeper. She, reje she rejected the JJ influence and is in control of the grove. That's wonderful news. And we're still all alive? This isn't how I expected this to end, but I can't argue with the results. What will you do now? We'll head back to Windhelm and rest before marching to join the rest of the army. Take this. It was a charm to bring me luck in the war. Thanks to you, my luck has been pretty good. I want you to have it. Fresgill says you're the one who helped me. Thank you. I'm not really sure what happened, but I think I've had enough rest and relaxation. What happened? Oh, my neck is killing me, and I feel like I drank an entire barrel of mead. <laughs> nice. What is this? What? What is? What? Hmm. 
sorry for the delay sending you this letter. I know it might not get delivered for a while, but I wanted to let you know I've had, made, had some success. It's been a long journey, but I know it's going to be worth it. The weather had tur turned bad, and we were forced to take shelter in Ice ha Hammer's vault. Not an ideal, uh, not as ideal as a nice warm inn, but at least I can look look for some treasure while we're here. As long as I am quick and quiet, I think I can find some gold and maybe a relic or two. The wife is not happy with the situation, of course, but she is patient and understanding. She's brought a few books and she's reading to the baby. She prefers she were she prefers religious to tomes, but it is but 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 if that that's what it takes to get her through through this, then that's fine fine with me. I don't feel feel good about bringing my family here, but you know how those money lenders are. I actually feel safer with the family beside besides me than back than back in Windhelm where they might be get harassed. We'll return to Fort Amo as soon as we've got enough to pay off my debt. May the divines watch over you. May the guy guide and may may they guide and protect you, us all. So this isn't good.
I lost my family. They're all gone. Rap the of I was a fool. I brought my wife and child to this tomb, looking for shelter from the storm. I lost everything. Everything! What are you doing, dude? What the fuck? Hail. Feel just in time. Hail and well met. What are you doing out here? Taking a break. Waiting for some friends. I'm a royal road worker. Do you appreciate the flat, even roads, throughout East March? You can thank us for those. We've earned a little relaxation. We're throwing a celebration in Crag Wallow. A celebration? Son, that sounds like fun. You should join us. It'll be a night to remember. We even have a bard. He was passing by and agreed to perform at the party. Go talk to Burge Stonehart, right up the road. He's our overseer. I'm sure he'll let you crash the party. I'll speak to Burge and about attending the party. Oh, this, this one. Yeah. This one. Another traveler wanders in. But you don't look like a bard. I heard the world war work crew, crew needs a break. You've got that right. We work hard and relax harder. You're welcome to join us. A bard wandered into camp right before you, so we'll have music as well as mead. Anything I can do to help? The cooks, Kalaga and Hegvia, are arguing over what to serve for the party. Uh, they're up near the main hall. Kalaga favors steaks. Hegvia wants to make goat stew. They want me to choose, but I hate to pick favorites. You decide. Is the goat stew tasty? Goat stew is delicious, full of meat, potatoes, and not too many vegetables. Hegvir is a pretty good cook. She'll probably need your help getting some of the ingredients for her stew, though. You like steak? Of course I like steak. I'm Nord, aren't I? That's Fair all Kolaga really knows how to cook. Bear steaks, usually. He'll probably need your help getting the meat. Goat stew is delicious. Okay. Before I do that... Let 
bum 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 Taste is. I think it needs a pinch more salt. Burge told me to decide what, what meal to serve at the party. Oh, did he? I'm sure he'd want something extraordinary for the party. Not just a slab of meat that's burnt on the outside and raw in the middle. Something worthy of a chef of my caliber. A savory goat stew would do the trick. What would you need for the stew? One of the wild goats that wander around the area. They eat the flowers and sweet grasses during the spring and summer. It makes them so delicious. Goat stew sounds fine. Wonderful. Here, if you feed this herb to a goat and pet it, it will follow you around like a lost puppy. Lead it back here, and I'll take care of the rest. The amazing aroma of the simmering stew will have mouths watering throughout Cragwallow. Remember. Right. I remember I needed help with this one, but luckily there's a goat right there, so. You did find a cute little goat for the main course. Here is the goat you wanted. Look at it. So adorable. So plump. And so delicious. I'll start cooking right away. One more thing. Beige wants more mead. Would you talk to Rolf Wolfkin? You'll find him by the storeroom where we keep the mead. He has the key. I'm gonna find Roldoff. Roldoff. I don't feel so good. Pet doggo. Ba, 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 ba. Wait, what am I doing? What do you want? Cook said, said you, you have the key to the storeroom. Key? What key? No, oh, what's the use? It wasn't their fault. They didn't mean to take it. I won't say any more. I won't tattle on my friends. Confused, what are you talking about? The key is lost. But I know where it is, sort of. One of my wolf friends snatched it off my belt, swallowed it in one gulp. I refuse to kill them for a key. They are beautiful, noble creatures. A woman who once loved me treated them as kin. You view the wolves as friends? I do. If you had known older and seen her among the wolves, then you would look at them differently too. She was blessed by kind, and the wolves were always gentle around her. She taught me to respect them. Oh, my fair order. Unfortunately, we need that key. Do what you must, then. They ran to the north. They're probably not far. Oh, my noble friend. Run. Run, my wolf brethren. Save yourselves! You can get into the storeroom now. You seem to really like wolves. You can blame a woman for that love of my life. When I was a lad, I hunted wolves for sport and to keep them away from my family's farm. Then I met Olda. What a fine woman. Happened. We spent a summer together. Too short a time in these northern climes. 
Uh, she was from a noble family. Taught me to respect wolves. She claims them as kin. <laughs> That's why I took the name. And why I won't kill them. Oh. You will meet her later. Literally. <laughs> Looks like you've been busy. Here's some more meat for the party. Thanks for all your help. Now relax and have some fun. The party's already started. You know, we could use some music, though. I thought the bard was already here. Oh, there is. He's the one not dressed like a royal worker. He's upstairs, last I checked. Why don't you go up and ask him to play us a song? Here and there, these camps are well built and well maintained. Great places to rest when the weather turns ugly. Nice. A fine gathering. A fine gathering indeed. Everyone's hoping to hear a song or two. I suppose I have made them wait long enough. I like to build anticipation in my audience. It makes the reaction. That much. Yes, yes, it's time. A bard must always gauge the audience. You want them relaxed, receptive. If they are too deep in the cups, they can't appreciate the wonderful tones of my lute. My fine ladies and handsome gentlemen, it is time for music. Relax and listen to my songs. Let the music soothe you. <laughs> and fades to black. What has this man done? What happened here? There are dead and injured people all over the place. And who are you? I need to figure out what happened here. My friends deserve answers. Don't know what happened. I'm the overseer for the royal work crews in this area. When I left for Wilhelm a few days ago, my workers were hale and whole. Now I come back to find many of them cut down and the rest injured and confused. I need answers. I must have blacked out. You and anyone else who survived whatever happened here. I need to report to Jarl. How did you end up in Cragwallow? The workers invited me to join their celebration. My gut tells me you aren't responsible. No injuries? But you seem to be recovering your wits well enough. Help me investigate what happened. Talk to some of the survivors. Let's see if we can piece together recent events. 
I'll talk to some of the survivors. We need to figure out what happened here. I want to catch whoever's responsible for this. Did you see who attacked you? One pint of mead. Not even. Half a pint at best. And my memory is all hazy. I sang along with the bard. His lute was just enchanting. Next thing I know, I wake up covered in wounds. It's a mystery. But did you see anything? Such a blur. I might have seen things moving around. Not quite human, but too small to be trolls. Not ice wraiths, either. Those things leave ice all over the place. Yes, that's it. We were attacked by small, not quite human things. Oh, great. <sighs> Hopeful. My head aches and everything looks blurry. Our real gray sky asked me to investigate what happened. I took a hard knock on the head. I don't remember much from earlier today. There was drinking and singing and pie. I, I think I remember pie. Did you hear, see or hear anything just before you were hit? I wish I could remember something. I was relaxed, drinking a bit. I heard the bard start to play and I decided I was going to have another piece of pie. Next thing I knew, I woke up with this lump on my head and, and they're all dead. I'll find whoever did this. Show them no mercy. Why would anyone attack Cragwallow? Did you see what happened? To be honest, I wasn't seeing all that clearly before the attack. I admit I had a drink. Or seven. I remember there was singing. Then the screaming started. Or was it screaming and then singing? It's all so confusing. But now that you mention it, perhaps it was more like shrieking. Like some kind of angry creature swooping in for the kill. No, I wish I could. Everyone seems confused. Did you find out anything at all? People were, were remember, ha blah, blah, remember having fun, then listening to the bard, then they were attacked. In a haze of memories, that bard and his music stand out like the sun on a clear winter's day. But where is he? I don't see a bard among the living or the dead. You need to find that bard. I agree. Search the area and see if you can find him. People remember music and the bard is missing. A coincidence? Maybe, but I don't like the sound of it. I'll stay here to help the wounded and keep watch over the camp. Find the bard. Please, help a dying old man. I'm not as strong or as fast as I used to be. What happened to you? I was assaulted by the same creatures that attacked Cragwallow. You track these monsters? Then I implore you to aid a dying old man. What do you need? I was a soldier before joining the work crew. My sword and shield saw me through many battles. But I am a shadow of my former self. The creatures took my items and left me to die. I want my sword and shield with me for my final journey. nothing I could do. I'm looking for Valding the Bard. I'm one of the royal workers. 
I followed the creatures that dragged off the bard, Reeklings, unless I miss my guess. They haven't been seen around these parts in years. There were too many of the foul creatures. I couldn't help him. Where did they take him? Into that cave. I never even knew there was a cave up here. He was still alive when they dragged him in there. The goblins seemed excited about something. I'm a road worker, not a soldier. I'm not going to walk into a den of reeklings. That would be suicide. Whatever has the reeklings so riled up probably led to the attack on Cragwallow. I hope you can save the bard and figure out what's going on. I'll search the cave. All right, <clears throat> let's talk to this person. Get me out of here! You're all right? No, I'm not all right. These creatures dragged me here after slaughtering half the workers at Craigwallow. You remember what happened? Why doesn't anyone else? Well, about that, I'm not actually a bard. I found the loot. It's enchanted. I play a few notes and my audience falls asleep. They wake up later, a little confused, a little groggy, and missing some gold or an item or two. <laughs> Perfectly safe. People died because of your loot. I had no idea it would attract Greeklings. They placed it on that altar thing over there. Their chief seems to like to look at it. He keeps coming in. Makes me nervous how he stares at me. Loot should be destroyed. But it, it's 
Well, I suppose you're right. Go ahead and destroy it. Then we can get out of here. You're going to have to get the key from the Reekening Chieftain to let me out of the cage. You are going to let me out, aren't you? Yes, I'll let you out. Hello. Stamina. You got the key? What? You wouldn't leave me in here. You promised to, your, to surrender yourself to the royal workers. I'll open the cage. A work? I'm not a criminal. Well, not. What the heck happened to my audio there for a second? What the hell? All right. The, the, he just went silent. He just went silent. What the fuck? Did you... Did, yeah. You guys noticed that, right? <laughs> the... The audio just cut there for a second. Luckily, the audio's back, so it's not a big deal. What the flying... I'm very sorry about what happened. You promised to surrender yourself to the royal workers. Yes, of course, I did promise. I don't suppose I could just promise to find a new line of work and then we could just skip the part that requires me to surrender. No. All right, all right. I'll go back to Crag Wallow and tell the royal workers what happened. Tell them the truth. I may not be the most honest Nord. But I promised I would surrender myself to the royal workers if you got me away from the Reeklings, and I will. I never intended for anyone to get hurt. I'll stay away from enchanted items from now on. Good. All right. Yeah, sorry about the audio cutting out there for a second, guys. I don't know what happened, but I noticed it, um, and I think you'll notice it too. It was only like a brief second of it, of like audio cutting out and stuff like that, but luckily, I didn't lose any progress. Bum ba dum ba dum ba bum ba. Ba da ba dum ba ba da da. Orcs of Skyrim, huh? 
Interesting. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, another chest. Yay, I did it. Ooh. Hello. You will appear my staff and blade. this is happening to me what seems to be the problem the better question is what isn't the problem i've got missing equipment trolls a spriggan infestation woodcutters who refuse to work it's a disaster i'm sorry i'm a bit upset my lumber camp is ruined ruined maybe i could help really when we tried to enter the camp we were besieged by trolls my trusty clerk agonier volunteered to sneak in and find my logging chief jefelma he hasn't returned, and I'm worried about him. If you could help, I'll pay you for your trouble. I'll find your missing clerk. Jefelma comes from this part of the forest. Knows it like the back of her hand. I figured she'd be able to deal with ghost stories. But trolls? How does anyone deal with a herd of trolls? There's so many of them. Where did your trolls' problems start? Jefelma's report stopped arriving several days ago. So I left my office in Windhelm and came out to investigate. A few woodcutters we did find said that the trolls began arriving in dribs and drabs, followed by the Spriggans. Where did your clerk go? Egenir went to check on the logging cabin. He's a wood elf, so I figured he'd be able to deal with strange forest activity. But he hasn't come back yet, and now I'm concerned about him. Uh-huh. Dear, trouble in the woods, send the wood elf. He can deal with it. Bah! Why do people think all Bosma have an affinity for nature? That's like saying all Nords love mead. Oh, wait a moment. Mm. Oh, Thorvald sent me to find you. Well, here I am. A troll tried to eat me, and a spriggan chased after me. By Ifrid, those things give me the creeps. I was looking for Jeff Elmer, but instead I found a couple of woodcutters hiding in here, so I decided to join them. Any ideas where I could find Jeff Elmer? One of the woodcutters saw her helping a logger near the other cabin. I was thinking of going to look for her, but then I thought about those creepy walking bushes and decided to stay right here. I'm a clerk. I didn't volunteer for this. That's funny. Thought Thorwald said that's exactly what you did. Of course he did. And did he tell you that my special Bosma senses could figure out what's going on out here? Well... He lied about that too. The Nords claim there are forest spirits. Maybe one of the woodcutters chopped down the wrong tree.
can't believe a spriggan got the drop on me. I'm going to turn that thing into kindling. Oval simply to help. Don't tell me Lord Fancy Pants actually left his cozy office in Windhelm. He hasn't been in a real forest in years. At least he made the trip. That's more than most bosses would do. What happened out here? Well, I think we offended the forest spirits. I know it sounds strange, but the forests of Skyrim are ancient and magical. And not everything likes to be disturbed. I think Thorvald bought land that had a prior claim attached to it. Who had a prior claim to this land? I think that this part of the forest belongs to a Spriggan matron. At least she's suddenly treating the place like it's hers. She sent the forest trolls and lesser Spriggans to harass us and drive us off. Where can I find the Spriggan matron? You can find the Spriggan matron near the pool, just south of here. Be careful. Elder Spriggans are ruthless and dangerous. running that is the real question every day that this place is shut down is a day I'm losing gold so what happened out there do you bring me good news or bad your problem was a speak uh, the a spriggan matron I took care of it for you really that's outrageous but that does explain what that old Nord I bought the place from was trying to tell me. Anyway, we'll leave the camp vacant for now. Eventually the trolls will leave. Take this for helping us. Alright. I'm going to go to Windhelm real quick, sell off some stuff. How much... Oh my... Okay, so I, I don't have... Yeah. Because I am going to start getting rewards for a lot of the things that I have. Might as well research the bow then. Because as much as I like the bow. Uh, uh, there are other words. Work, work recovers over here.
Uh, let me see here. Hold on. What do I have? Um... Well, I can do this. I prefer the cold moon in to the sober Nord. It's much more rustic. Did you see the dark elf noble by the forge? He smiled at me. Someone's being sneaky. Drop it, thief.
I don't know why I bother guarding you horrible beasts. One more, and you'll be good looking. and polished it down to Chimela the ball. Red diamond, red diamond, the heart and soul of men. Red diamond. Oh yeah, I forgot I had the room full axe. <laughs> us till the end. When elves lost Nern to man, Akatosh gave the stone to Saint Alesh in token of right to sit the throne red diamond red diamond the heart and soul of men red diamond red diamond protect us till the end Courage to fight and sharpen our swords, warrior goddess, mother of the I'm wondering. Ha, 
I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I change my outfit or not? Because I can, if I want to. But I will... I'm just trying new outfits, guys. Right. Actually, I don't know. Hold on, let, let me do this real quick. I think I'll go for... I don't know if I want to go for heavy armor or light armor or, or uh, heavy armor, uh, uh, heavy armor or medium armor. I think the medium armor looks a lot cooler. And they came from the seas, folded steel in their hands. They burned down our homes and ravaged our lands. Akaviri brought nothing but bloodshed and lies. Our families were slain before our eyes. With three separate people, they shared a cool joke, a choice between death or the yoke. But then our three people knew what must be done to end the oppression. All three became one, forged by war, the ebon hearts rose and drove the Akaviri back to the sea. When the enemies begged for the mercy they lacked, three voices as one shouted blood for the pact. Forged by war, our story be told. No shackles can hold us when the Stone or a drink.
where was I doing? Oh yeah. Found your own stand. Praise be back. You were there to stop Alexandra Cannell from capturing the Coral Heart. Yep. How'd you know? You look competent. Spies in the trees, assassins in the shadows. We must stay vigilant. Is there a problem? I'm the sentry captain. To me, there's always a problem. It's in the details. That kind of thinking keeps us secure. Could you light the watch fires near the east and south gates? The fires keep the storm fists from sneaking too close to the walls. I can do that. The Nors usually do this for me, but they got distracted. Happens all the time. Probably the mead they never stop guzzling. Here's a torch. Use a campfire to light it. It keeps the storm fists from advancing, and the lack of shadows hinders their spies and assassins. So yes, the fires help. While you deal with that, I need to check out a troubling report I just received. Anything else I could help with? Perhaps. Come back here after you light the fires. I should have more information by then. I know I'm not supposed to be here yet, but I will. Might as well get some of these quests out of the way. No harm shall befall you in this. The balance of the world tilts precariously, and the gates of the dead shiver in anticipation. The Daedric Prince succeeds at his unholy task. This pocket proves that. What is this place? We stand upon a rift between the plains. Here the border between the living and dead blurs. I died many years ago, during the Akaviri invasion. Yet here I stand, hoping that help will arrive. You need help? I long for my daughters to be returned to me. During the war, my husband's mind broke. He murdered our daughters to save them from Akaviri torture, he claimed. He scattered their remains across Eastmarch and left me here alone. I'll find your daughters for you. You would do me great honor. I miss my three daughters terribly. I'm not whole without them, but you give me hope. Find my daughters and grant me peace. This separation has been horrible. I want my girls back, that's all. No, all I have is this page from my husband's journal. I can't leave this circle, but perhaps his words will lead you to my daughters?
bones and blood, bathed in red, joined together, walking dead. Okay. Damn it. There we go. Rise up, darkness. Rise up.
Hail Traveler! Shaw's blood. You're a serious one, aren't you? Why not stop and enjoy the springs with us? What's your business here? Business? We have no business, stranger. No war, no orcs, and no giants. We just relax and enjoy the hot springs. But, now that you mention it... What? My friend Greta heard about some special bath salts. They're made at the Darkwater Crossing Apothecary. She went to get some, but she hasn't returned. See if you can find her. Or better yet, just bring us those salts. I'll try to find your friend. Son of a bitch.
So many orcs. What the flying fuck is this shit?
I leveled. Might actually just finish Winter Realm. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really decided yet, but. I haven't really decided yet. Returned, and you have them. Oh, even after all these years, they're still beautiful. The lovely smiles, the energy flowing through them. Oh, it's like we were never apart. Nonsense. I feel their presence. We're still connected, linked by blood, linked by magic. There's so much work to do, so much we still must accomplish, so much energy to touch, to devour. My husband didn't appreciate our work. When he found the bodies, he was shocked, disgusted. He never embraced the power as we did. No, he had to stop us, the fool. We gave them new life, but he stopped us, because a little blood scared him. But now I have my daughters back, we can start again. As a family. Nothing that concerns you. For the service you provided, you may live. But don't follow us. I won't allow anyone to separate my family again.
Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. What news do you bring? Well done. While you were gone, another task has presented itself. A task more suited to your talents. I learned that the Orkthane's troops are establishing a camp in the woods to the south. They need to be discouraged. What do you need me to do? Filgor, spy master Remorgal leads the effort. I want him stopped. And I want whatever orders he carries. I'll send my scout to help you. After you deal with the spy master, my scout has information on a second target I want you to take care of. Okay. There is an urgent task for you. Kill the one. Aha, fucking bug, get away from me. Sorry, I hit I had to hit the mic. That bug was annoying me. Sorry, guys, I had a good uh, fight. What's next? The captain wants us to eliminate Shaman Moramat. She is powerful and she's responsible for many pack deaths. The captain also wants whatever orders Moramat carries. Removing the Shaman would be good for morale, especially mine. Where do we find the Shaman? Reports indicate that she's just east of here, setting up another camp. I think the Orc Thane is really trying to box us in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Here. Yeah. If there's one thing I don't want to do because I want to stay in favor of, um, uh, Orda or I can't remember her name now, but it's like uh, she's an orc. Uh, no, she's a. She's a thing, basically. Takes the power of my axe. Our job is done. It was a pleasure working with you. This is all mine. Were the Orc Thane's agents dealt with? We eliminated the Orc Thane, Spymaster, and Shaman. Let me see their orders. Yes, yes, very interesting. This is excellent work. Excellent. The King, his son, and the other pact leaders can safely focus on dealing with Orc Thane Fildgor now, thanks to you. Don't believe a soldier's life is all fame and glory. Taking a life isn't heroic. Your enemy has a family, just like you, and like I did. No one deserves to die. You Sonia's no. la last blood's husband? How do you... My wife is dead, stranger. Leave her in peace. Her spirit said you killed her. She asked for my help. Tell me you didn't help her. Tell me you didn't bring her and my daughters back together. No, of course you did. And now we'll all pay for your mistake. Why did you kill them? My wife turned to Molag Bal. 
She worshipped him. Then she drew my innocent daughters into her cult. They murdered people. But that doesn't matter now. Where is she? What's she planning? They practiced their magic in a ruin south of here. That's probably where they've gone. She planned to give my daughters to Molag Bal when I killed her. You have to stop her! Go on. I'll gather my things and be right behind you. And I know exactly where they are. They're over here. Oh, this is not where Jesus Christ. Need to get back on the road. Hello. Get. If you follow this road, hello. I've never seen them dodge before. I'm, I'm fighter fighter skill level ten. You can't stop us. What was started long ago shall finally be complete. We shall join as one. Molag Ball, accept our offering. Make us your weapon. You will be the first Make sacrifice us invincible. to our lord, Molag Ball. Now you shall witness our power. as well go in here get this lore book so I don't have to worry about it all right this is gonna be a pain in the ass I might die a few times but that's okay I'm not actually doing the dungeon I'm just because let's see where is the lore book all right, so the lore book is right here. So all I need to do is just get this. Yeah, I'm not doing the quest. Although... You know what? No. <laughs> Fuck this shit.
I am going to get wrecked in here. All right. Well, at least I got the lore book. I need better equipment. <laughs> I need better equipment. So there's that. Only worker. What can I research? Apparently nothing. Right. Can I get rid of? That is the question of the day. What can I research? Oh, I can research a couple things. Oh, I landed right on the chest. There we go. Bastard's Tomb. What a, what a name. Are any of my equipments need... Hold on. I think my equipment needs repairing before I go blundering into a fucking tomb.
Well, that didn't work. Hold on. Second. Fuck off. Gonna need aid healer.
I'm doomed. <laughs> I was mine. What? I'm getting out of here. I'll meet you at Yoren's stand.
Comrade, a word. <clears throat> if this message reaches you, I must assume you did what what I could not and stopped my wife. I apologize for the. Uh, uh, for, for not accompanying you to the ruins. My family's blood already stains my hands and I couldn't bear, bear to go through with that ordeal all over again. To think that ev everything I ha had to do 10 years ago could have come undone, that it could have all been for nothing. I couldn't stand the thought. At the same time, I couldn't end their li lives. Um, not again. I had to let, let, let that fall to you. And for that, I'm sorry. You won't see me again. My time is done. I had ho hoped to die, die a glorious death in battle beside the Scald King. Instead, I die a coward's death. My may kind forgive me. I left a small reward reward for you. It's in my chest behind this tent. My journey is also there. My, my, my journal is also there and contains the entire story of what I was forced to do. Kind watch watch over you, my friend. Kind watch over us all. I was a husband, a father. I wished to live a, a life of peace and love. I wanted to grow old with my wife, watching my children grow and start families of their own. Then in the fullness of then in the fullness of time, I wanted to pass into Sovngarde, wife at my side, and to find whatever reward re reward waited for us. I never expe expected to end the very th things that gave me happiness, to be the hand that murdered my wife and daughters. But sometimes things happened. Evil corrupts even the mo most pure, the most innocent. My family, my wife, my daughters. The, they, they hurt others. Innocent people. They did unthinkable things. The power they wielded when they, they were together was pure evil. But I ended it. I buried them all in different places. Made sure they'd never, they'd never be together again. The first part, Jolene. I laid to rest in her favorite place to play as a child. I still remember her playing tag with her with with her sisters in the, in that hallway. She'd she'd hide behind the strange stones and surprise anyone who walked by. They'd be mad at first, but then they'd see her her smile and move on. Headed for the sober Nord or Merchant's Row. She was su such a playful child before the danger corrupt before the danger corruption of Molech Ball pulled her into the cult. She was the first to turn after my wife. The first I found, blood and knife in hand, an evil gr gr grin I did not, I didn't recognize adorned her face, a beautiful face. I had to do what I did. Kind help me, I had to. The second born, Bjorna. I lay to, re to rest in the shrine dedicated to the things she grew up dreaming about. Dragons, whatever. Whenever we visited the shrine of Wit. Wittestotter, 
I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Fiona would insist that we stop by the nearby ruins to pay our respects to the fabled creatures. She she said that she could sense their presence. She'd run off, off to the same spot every time, a small clearing behind a strange carved slab of stone. She'd like that spot. I hope I hope she'll, she'll be at peace there. If only her mother hadn't gotten a hold of her. She was the closest to me of my daughters. She could hold her own in a fight, one more often than not, a good girl. But she fell, fell to, but she too fell into evil, uh, into evil of the cult. I had to take matters into my own hands again, into my, into my hand, into hand again. So I did what was necessary. I wept and wept into the night. Nothing before this had ever been been so hard. The thirdborn, Valdia, my little girl, my darling. For her, the only place that would suit that that would suit her what was where I took her each each year on on her day on her day of birth to ride the horses as li as little place in south the little place in southern East March. The stable master would always welcome her, and my Val Valdia would be so happy. She'd sit by the small pond near near the house, and she'd rock, and, and she'd pick those be beautiful red flowers. She loved it there, and horses were were her favorite animals in the world, which is why I was shocked when I found her favorite horse dead on that morning. Its heart carved out. She was hold, holding it, still pumping blood, in her hand and grinning. Main men 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 I can't. M maniacally there we go I never asked for this I never wanted this but I felt responsible as if it was my fault as as if I had failed them all somehow I did unspeakable things but for the greater good I never killed any innocents but I killed my family perhaps this may makes me more of a mo monster than they were but I did what I thought thought was right Sonia spoke of sacrificing the girls, using them to gain ultimate power from Molag Ball. I couldn't let that ha ha happen to my little girls. I just couldn't. I hope they, they can forgive me one day. I hope they welcome me into, into Sovereign Guard, back into their arms. I miss them more and more, every day. I think it's time for me to finally join them. Well, goddamn, dude. Beware, stranger. The dead aren't supposed to walk around. And they certainly aren't supposed to attack innocent loggers. What happened here? The dead emerged from Bone Strewn Barrow. I was working when it started. I buried my axe and three of them, but they kept on coming. My family's still out there. And the countryside is crawling with those damn creatures. What can I do to help? Can you check on my family? We have three logging cabins scattered around the bone-strewn crest. Look for my brother, my cousin, and my wife. I can sneak around, but I can't fight Draugr in this state. Please, make sure my family is all right. I'll check on your family. My wife, Jaquil, and I share the cabin farthest to the north. My brother, Kurthor, don't talk much. He keeps to himself in the cabin near the Way Shrine. And my cousin Agnadir lives in the cabin near the springs. Can I ask about your family? Sure, I guess. 
I'd prefer it if you went and helped them, though. But ask your way. Whatever. You're gonna be like that rude person, you. You're walking, but you're not dead. You picked the wrong day to visit our camp, stranger. Stilgard sent me. He's worried about his family. My husband, Selgard? Is he all right? Why isn't he with you? He was injured. He sent me to check, on the, check the cabins. What of the others? Did you find my brother-in-law? My young cousin? Herther and Ag Agnadir didn't make it. Kine, have mercy on my family. Will you be all right? Don't worry about me. Save your concern for the next dead thing that walks through that door. Did you find them? Is my family all right? Your wife, Skull... Jaquild is is fine. She's waiting for you. The others? Shores bones. Why did I offer shelter to those travelers? I should have known better. What travelers? They seemed friendly enough, and we never turn away those in need. But they asked the oddest questions about Bonestrun Barrow, and they were much too interested in that old crypt. What kind of questions? They wanted to know how old it was. How big it was, if it was dangerous. People visit the barrow from time to time. I didn't think anything of it until... Until what? I helped one of them steady his pack. Owen was his name, if I recall. A helmet spilled out. A covenant helmet. I should have done something then. What happened after that? Their leader, Valsent, he saw what happened. He thanked me and said it was time for them to depart. They headed out without another word. I knew something was wrong, but I was just happy to see them leave. Where did they go? 
They said they were going to Windhelm, but I watched them go. They headed toward the barrel. What do you think they did? I don't know. But it wasn't long after they entered the barrel that the Draugr shambled onto Bonestrewn Crest. Go see what those Covenant milk drinkers are up to. Maybe then my brother and cousin can rest in peace. Now, I need to see my wife. Oh. <laughs> My god, I'm going for th over three hours now. Goddamn fucking drivers. I don't know what, what I did to deserve this assignment. I thought the war was supposed to be exciting. All we've done is arri since, since arriving in this froze, frozen wasteland is wander around like commoners touring the arse end of, no of Skyrim. And that Valsen gives me the shivers. Why does Owen bend over backwards to please him? We found houses around a hill today. A woodcutter and his family lived here. Li live here. I spotted old Nordic ruins punt up a through, through, through the crown of the hill. The woodcutter w was friendly and hospitable. He even offered us a place to stay. Walson seems excited, but he won't tell us why. Ophelia talked to me today. She is such a ray of sunshine in, in, in this nasty business. I would talk. I would walk. F f I would walk through fire for her. Turns out those ruins I saw saw are a barrow. A place where the Nords bury their dead. Balson definitely appears interested in, in in the place. He's asking the woodcutter all kinds of questions about it. If he's not careful, he's gonna make he's gonna make ma make the woodcutter suspicious. Balson ordered us to depart just as we, were, we we I was starting to get comfortable. I think the woodcutter saw something that he wasn't saw something he wasn't supposed to. And now we're going into the barrow to set up camp. Why in the world would this Falson want us to camp in here? Oh well, follow orders, never ask questions. That's life in the High King's army. Okay. We lost Sergeant Mar Mar Marseille today, or Henry. The traps in the barrel finally caught him. I feel quite bad about it. Even though I barely knew the man, I was about to step onto the hidden pressure plate when, when he noticed and pulled me out of the way. He lost his ba balance and set, set it off himself. It was awful. And just this mo morning, I was having a conversation with him about, about how he arranges his kit. How depressing. Valson's eagerness and pride 
when when we got when we first got got to this assignment has turned into something enti something else entirely. When we when we he learned of this crypt, he was adamant we explore it. Henry's death didn't even phase him. He demanded we leave the poor man's body where it fell and continue our mission. I don't understand how Valson hopes to turn turn the barrow barrow's dead into an army. We were here 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 to build local opposition to King Yorin. But Valson feel, feels this will advance our cause in some way I can't begin to understand. I don't know know what Valson is up to, Valsent is up to for the moment. We're just waiting. The door next to us, cha door next to the chamber is locked. No one is crafting a key to open it. I convinced o o Owen to make to make a copy of the key for me. I trust false. I don't trust Falsent. I believe in in making sure there's always a con contingency plan. Contingency. That's the Covenant way. That's why I'm hiding the key in this journal. Hello. You, you will not. to do something real quick um, thank the gods please you have to let me out of here please get me out of here what are you doing in there I'm Owen Pavel I'm part of an expedition that was sent to explore this barrow. My team was cataloging the ruins when the Draugr attacked. You're lying. What? No! How can you say that? You're with the Covenant. Tell me what you're doing here, now. All right, I'll confess. This is all wrong. I joined the Lion Guard for a little adventure, but this isn't what I had in mind. Balsen's mad. He intends to raise an undead army. He has no orders. He's totally gone rogue. So how can I help? Pull the switch to my left. It will unlock the cage and open the door to the ceremonial chamber. That's where Valsant is doing, God knows what. But please, don't pull the switch to my right. Nothing good. Please, don't touch the right switch. Fine. Have it your way. It activates some sort of mechanism. This cage is some kind of sacrificial device. I beg you, whatever you do, leave the right switch alone. Thank you for setting me free. I'll never forget this.
covered I returned to Jaquild after you went to the Barrow. We've been hiding in here. Did you find those Covenant milk drinkers? Did you stop them? I defeated the Covenant Necromancer who corrupted the Barrow. Then the Draugr should slowly return to their graves. In the meantime, we'll stay in here until they go away. I curse the Covenant for what it's done. Thank you for helping us.
time grows short. Too much to do and too little time. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? A stranger offers aid. Please, you dare to put your own life in danger for the benefit of others? That sounds too good to be true. Just want to help. Well, I would be foolish to turn down help, wherever it comes from. I need certain materials to perform the ritual. Can you gather them for me? Sure, when do you need them? I need you to catch torch bugs. I need five pairs of wings. No more, no less. I also need the satchel for my home. The intact building. The one with a sturdy lock. The key should be in an urn near the house. I tossed it in there when I ran by. It will help me find my way through her dreams. I enter the dream stride and cure people from within. I've always had this gift. I try to use it for good, but things don't always work out the way you hope. I try not. What can laughs do for you? Not so loud. Laughs at danger is an honest Argonian merchant. Daryl is very... Maybe yes, maybe no. There's a big demand. Daryl is very dangerous. And here... Man, especially ESO ones. be in here somewhere. It has to be. Who? Who? Who are you? What are you doing in here? Everyone was supposed to be gone. What are you, what are you doing here? Just gathering my belongings. I had to leave so suddenly I missed a couple of necessities. Now get out of my house, won't you? I don't want you here. Of course this is my house. I told you it was my house. Why would I be in here if it wasn't my house? And you're still standing. Figures you'd be working with the lizards. 
They always lure outsiders to their cause with false promises and sob stories. Those Argonians are killers. If you're working with them, you're no better than they are. What are you talking about? What am I talking about? That Dreamwalker! He uses dark magic, magic he doesn't understand. How many innocents have to die because of his recklessness? That's just what he wants you to believe. And you're stupid enough to listen to his lies. It's a shame a troll didn't rip your heart out. It's what you and those killers deserve. Take care of this nuisance. I'm trying to help you. Dare you help the Argonians? The filthy lizards. They killed my wife. She put her faith in the Dreamwalker. <coughs> put her life in his hands. What do you mean? My wife was ill. This Dreamwalker. He promised he could cure her by entering her dreams. She swore off practical medicines said there were other ways there were lies i held her hand as her life slipped away he killed her dream walker did is that why you're here i came here to make them suffer all of them to make them feel the pain as i did i put blood around the village lured the trolls here I watched them destroy the place, and now, it, it seems, I hold the life of another in my hands. What life do you speak of? Whoever the Dreamwalker is trying to save. He sent you for his reagents, didn't he? That's why you were in the house. That's why I was there, too. To make sure he never stepped into another dream again. Let me go. And I'll tell you where to find them. Are you trying to... Are you trying to bargain your life for another? I tried to destroy this monster after what he did to my wife. But it's out of my hands now. Let me go, and I'll tell you where I hid the reagents. Kill me, and you'll never find them. I'll let you go after you tell me where they are. I put the reagents into a vase and threw it into the ruined building I ran by. Take them, and get back to your Dreamwalker. Just know it won't work. She's dead. Regardless of what you do, just... just like my wife. Okay.
damn it. Fucking A, D Jesus Christ. There we fucking go, Jesus Christ. Did you bring the items I requested? Here, I also ran into a red guard wizard. No time to talk about that now. I know exactly who you met, but please, I must try to save this one's life first. The present now, then we can discuss the past. Sister of Wind will recover. Breathing normal, body healing, her dreams were tainted by the injuries. Always happy when I help another. Always remember the ones I couldn't save. Like the Red Guard's wife. One of many. Beautiful woman. Dark hair, pretty eyes, like the sea. Osmala came to me and begged for my help. I knew her chances weren't good, but I decided to try to save her anyway. Osmala lured the trolls here. Luckily, none of my people were lost, but poor Osmala. He acted out of grief, out of love for the woman he lost. I forgive him. What will you do now? They are safe. Trolls still roam the area, but they will get bored and wander off when the food runs out. Hopefully, they won't look in this cave. You.
You're back. Did you get the bath salts? I have both bath salts and I found Greta. Really? Hands them over then. Let's get this party started. I don't think the bath salts are safe. The bath salts. Next you tell me that mead is bad. You sound just like Greta. Give me the salts. <laughs> That's a good one. What a joker. A zombie. Come on. Hands them over. Nope. This isn't funny. I was all set to give you gold for helping us, but that's not going to happen now. Just go away and leave me alone. I heard what you said about Guida. Is it true? Yep. And I'm glad you didn't give in to Draloff. I certainly don't want to turn into a zombie. That would be icky. Here, take this for your time. I really appreciate not getting zombified, if you know what I mean. Cool. All right. <clears throat> um. I have a couple of locations to go to. Why do you hate us, Lord? Your own king declared us allies, but still, you turn us away. Don't put words in my mouth, Dark Elf. I said you could enter Fort Armor, but the inn is full, so you can't stay. Official business of the kingdom takes precedence after all. Old Huri has been spreading ridiculous. tales of how you defeated Malana. Very impressive. Way. Guild requests your help. My cousin never returned, and I'm worried sick. He told me he was going to Icehammer's vault. Did you come from there? Do you have any news about my cousin? Found this diary. I think it belonged to your cousin. Yes, this does look like Ugisar's writing. I had hoped that his wife would convince him to give up treasure hunting, but it appears that the opposite is true. Thank you for bringing this to me. to try again for people claim many things some claim to be the best gamblers others the best lovers me 
I'm the best hunter you'll ever meet. No question about it. I've never lost a hunting competition. Not a one. <laughs> Confidence and swagger. I like that. Well, let's see you beat my record. Even East March's best hunter over there couldn't catch that many rabbits in under a minute. But I'll make it easy for you. One rabbit keeps eluding me. Nab it, and you win. Those are the rules. If you want to win this contest, come talk to me. Sure. You could use normal, non-magical, absolutely regular arrows. Or you could use exciting arrows. Fiery arrows. Arrows that get to go boom. Where can I get arrows like that? From me. My exploding arrows can take out multiple rabbits with one shot. Very effective. But they'll cost you. Steady hand. When you put it that way, why not? Here you go. Let me know when you're ready. Varilla only kills made with the hunting bow count. Kills with any other weapon are disqualified. Your time. What the? What just happened? Golden Jack is dead. I win. Exploding arrows? They really worked? That's cheating. I knew I should have disqualified them when I had the chance. Ah, a bet's a bet, though. Take your winnings and go gloat somewhere else. <laughs> How's it feel to lose, Lizard? Shut it. Scale this one. I'm still a better hunter than you. <clears throat> All right. Um, I might as well get these lore books while I'm here, since this is a really well. I say I say it's a safe place, but it's not really. <laughs> It's not outside that it's in the... Oh, no, it's out here. Okay. All right. All right, grab this way shrine. But I might actually end the recording after this little... No, 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 no. That way, when I come back here, I don't have to, you know... Where is
vampire champion. Why do you hate us, Lord? Your own king declared us allies, but still, you turn us away. Don't put words in my mouth, Doctor. I just have one more spot to go to. I might as well just travel there. Start trouble. I'll finish it. What? What can I do for you? I found this urn with your name on it. These... These are my mother's remains. I thought this urn had been lost forever. I carved the designs onto the urn myself. Pictures of things my mother loved. I can't believe thieves would steal it. Thank you for returning it to me. it crashed crashed right in the middle of what I was doing <laughs> god damn it I mean three hours th th over, over three hours you know it okay there we go Only two crashes within three hours. That's actually not too bad. I would have thought it would crash more. Yeah, I would have thought it would have crashed more. Well, I'll I'll turn in this quest and then, you know, end the recording there. I think that's a good good place to stop it.
Comrade, a word. My sister is going to be so happy that you saved me. I see you made it out alive. I did, thanks to you. Not only did I make it in time to see my sister get married, but I also decided to follow her example and become a soldier for the Scald King. We're going to drive the traitorous Stormfist out of our land. I could do this. Honestly. Uh, Bazolfed. I could I could do it. But do I want to? Mm. That is the real question. Um yeah, I'll end the episode there. Cuz I don't want to risk it getting uh or risk it crashing again. So anyways, well, I will. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, yawn, big yawn. Um, hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys, as much as I did making it. I'm su I'm surprised it only crashed two times. I was I was shocked. Uh, I was I was a little surprised on that, but uh, you know, but I would have expe I was expecting it to crash more. Um. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, guys. I will upload it right after I end the recording so um, that you guys can enjoy it. I know it's been a while since I've recorded. That's because I've been busy working and everything like that, and I haven't had time, time to do the things that I want to do. So, um, plus, I've been really tired, you know, and everything like that, and things are changing in my life that... Then it's like, yeah. So, anyways, hope you all enjoyed. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you want want to see more. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.